Welcome to a video on exponential equations. In this video, we're going to learn how to solve exponential equations graphically using the free online graphing calculator website Desmos. Let's get started. Throughout this video, I'll be making a variety of graphs using Desmos. All of the graphs used in this video are linked in the video description below. Please use them to follow along with this video. Here are the directions on how to solve exponential equation using Desmos, and then we'll look at a few examples. You want to start by entering the left and right sides of the equation as two separate functions, say f of x and g of x. Next, click on the intersection point to reveal the coordinates. The solution to the equation is the x coordinate of the intersection point, or points. Let's look at a few examples. Let's start by solving the equation 50 equals 25 times the quantity 1.15 raised to the x power. We'll start this problem by calling the left side of the equation f of x, so our function f of x will be equal to 50. Then we'll let g of x equal the right side of the equation. So g of x will equal 25 times the quantity 1.15 raised to the x power. Let's go over to Desmos and enter these functions on the left-hand side. Open your internet browser to the website desmos.com. Toward the top of the screen, click on the button that says Graphing Calculator, or from the Math Tools menu, select Graphing Calculator. When Desmos first opens, you should be looking at a blank graph. Click in the first cell on the left-hand side and enter your functions f of x and g of x. You can enter your functions by using your keyboard or by using the Desmos keypad at the lower left corner. To insert x as an exponent, you can either use the caret key, which is shift six on your keyboard, or you can use the button A raised to the B power on the Desmos keypad. Let's enter f of x is equal to 50 and g of x is equal to 25 times the quantity 1.15 raised to the x power. Initially, after you enter the functions into Desmos, you may not see the graphs. Usually the default region for the graph is for x values between negative 10 and 10 and y values between about negative seven and seven. So essentially what we need to do is we need to zoom out. There's a couple ways we can do this. We can use the scrolling feature on our mouse to zoom in and out. We can go over to the right hand side and use the plus and minus buttons to zoom in or zoom out, or we can use the little gear to set the graph settings. I usually like to use my mouse to zoom out until I see where both functions are located. Once I have a better idea of where the functions are located, then I'll go up to the wrench and I'll set the graph settings for both the X and Y axis. I'm gonna set the X axis between negative 20 and 20 and the Y axis between negative 10 and 60. And then I'll just lock the viewport so it doesn't shift around. Once you have the graph on the screen, you need to find the intersection point. The intersection point is where the two functions are equal. Click on the point to reveal the coordinates. So it looks like the coordinates of the intersection point are 4.959 comma 50. This means that both functions are equal to 50 when x is 4.959. The solution of this equation is the x value where the two functions are equal. So my solution is x equals 4.959. Just a quick summary here. We graphed both of the two functions on the left and right hand side. We found the intersection point and our solution is the x coordinate of that intersection point. So the solution to this equation is x equals 4.959. Now let's take a look at our second example. We want to solve the equation 250 equals 25 times 1.15 raised to the x power. Once again, I'm going to start off by calling the left hand side f of x and the right hand side g of x. So f of x will equal 250 and g of x will equal 25 times 1.15 raised to the x power. Let's go back to Desmos and enter these new functions in. To enter these two functions in, there's a couple things you could do. You could simply go back up to your f and g functions that you previously entered and just edit these two functions, 
Or you could click on the three lines on the upper left-hand side and then choose new blank graph. If you notice, the g of x function is actually the same as the first example, 25 times 1.15 raised to the x. So in this case, I'm just gonna edit my f of x function to be 250. Now, as soon as I edit f of x, I can no longer view it on my screen. So I need to go back over to the wrench and I need to adjust the graph settings. Since that function moved from 50 up to 250, let's edit the maximum value of the y-axis and let's change that to be 300. Now I can see both functions on the graph and I can see the intersection point on the graph. Click on the point to reveal the coordinates. These two functions are equal at the point 16.475. So that is our solution to this equation. So once we edited our function for f of x, we found the new intersection point, which led us to conclude our solution to this problem is x equals 16.475. Finally, let's solve the equation 5 equals 10 times the quantity 0 0.86 raised to the x power. Once again, we're gonna let f of x equal the left-hand side, so that will equal five, and g of x will equal the right-hand side, so g of x will equal 10 times the quantity, 0 0.86 raised to the x power. Let's go back to Desmos and solve this equation. For this example, I'm gonna go ahead and open a new blank graph. So press the three lines on the upper left-hand side, then select new blank graph. Now let's enter our function into the cells on the left-hand side. Let's enter f of x equals five and g of x equals 10 times the quantity 0 0.86 raised to the x power. Now I can actually see the two functions on my screen along with the intersection point, but I'm just gonna click and drag my graph over so it's in the center of the screen. Now let's click on the point to reveal the coordinates of the intersection. So these two functions are equal when x is equal to 4.596. So that's our solution to the equation. So after graphing both of these functions, we found out that they were equal when x is equal to 4.596. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.